Hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to The Right Ladder. So today I'll be running down a list of our top 10 slash spiritual songs, uh, kind of top 10 ACIM slash spiritual songs. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but for one reason or another I've just never got round to it, couldn't find the time. But after speaking to uh, after speaking to Chris and combining both of our selections, we've come up with 10 songs so I'm going to do mine first and then his, um, although it's in no particular order, as they're all great choices. So, um, And as I can't actually post any of these songs, if you go to our playlists, you'll find a, select uh, a selection featuring every song with the lyrics. So in at number 10, it's Word on a Wing. <clears throat> no, it's not. Yes, it is. Word on a Wing by David Bowie. Uh, it's from the 76 album Station to Station and is basically a call to God. And if you listen to a lot of Bowie, this is the song that stands out to me anyway as being one of the only songs which is a direct call to God. Uh, it's beautiful. It's moving. It's one of my personal favourites. And, you know, Bowie always had like a kind of I don't know, like a ribbon of spirituality running through his music. But I feel like this song in particular really hits home. Um, so go check that out. And in the number nine spot is a song called Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. It's from the 1976 album Left Overture. And although I'm not a huge fan of their music in general, it's a little bit on the nose and a, a little bit Christian for my tastes. But this song is, in my opinion, one of the greatest spiritual rock songs ever written. And if you're into A Course in Miracles and things like that, Carry On Wayward Son is amazing. And in at number eight, it's Take These Broken Wings by Mr. Mister. It's from the 1985 album, Welcome to the Real World. The song's not exactly obscure, but it's a lovely tune and it hits all the right notes for me. In at number seven is a relatively new song uh, called Don't Shut Me Down. It starts off a bit slow, but it really hits different. It's from the new ABBA album, Voyage, and I, it's just to say now I am not an ABBA fan. Um, this album came out this year. Uh, and this song, it's, it kind of masquerades as a song about relationships, but if, if you're into the course, seriously go and listen. Well, it's, it's going to be in the playlist. Go and listen to this song. Um, it really feels like someone getting old and reconnecting, you know, like getting ready for God. Um, maybe I'm seeing what I want to see, I don't know, but I really love its pacing, and I, I listen to it a lot which is strange for me to be listening to ABBA. It's actually the first song ABBA um, I've actually gone into the Swedish charts. I think it's the first number one to go into the Swedish charts since Summer Night, Summer Night City in 78. So believe me, I, I wouldn't be saying it unless it, it was a decent song. In at number six is a song from Simon Webb, who, if you're British, you may remember him from the boy band Blue. And although I didn't like them particularly... Webb's 2005 album Sanctuary was outstanding. It's amazing. Um, and my favourite song from the same album is Lay Your Hands. And uh, it wells me up all the time. I absolutely love that song. So again, that's on the playlist there. Go have a look. At number five, it's another classic, but this time from Fleetwood Mac. It's off the 1977 album Rumours, which is in my top five albums of all time. It's a song called You Make Love and Fun. It's a beautiful song from a fantastic album. And if you haven't heard this song or listened to this album, then you really should. Where have you been? Um, and you'll more than likely be shocked with how many songs you're familiar with. If, if you've never listened to Fleetwood Mac Rumours, if you do listen to it, you'll recognise most of the songs. Now... The next ones are the Chris picks. Um, the next, yeah, the next four choices are from Chris. So in the number four spot, it's a song from the 2005 album With Teeth by Nine Inch Nails. It's a song called Right Where It Belongs. And although I'm not a huge fan 
of the band themselves. I really like this song, and it's an absolute classic. Um, and it has a it has a sound that genuinely stands out from anything else I've heard, I've ever heard. It's a very unique sound, um, and I kind of listened to it once because I was going to put it in the video, and then listen to it again and again and again. It's just amazing. So yeah, go listen to that. In at number three is Radioactive by Imagine Dragons from the 2012 album Night Visions. Uh, a song I remembered hearing a lot when it came out, but I didn't pay much attention to it. But haven't gone back and listened to it again, um, being suggested by Chris. It is very good and it's well worth a listen. In at number two, it's Black and Gold by Sam Sparrow. Another great song from 08. Uh, that is well worth checking out in the playlist if you haven't heard it before or in a while. Um, I should know what album it's from, but I don't, so it doesn't matter. And in at number one, although like I said, this whole list is in no particular order, it's Angel by Sarah McLachlan from 1998. A hauntingly beautiful track, and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. I wrote that down there. Uh, I thought it was alright. Uh, a little bit on the nose, but it's a nice song, um, so check that out as well. Okay, well that's everything for today. Um, on a side note, we recently reached 3,000 3, subs, which is nice, so thanks for watching, and I will see you all again soon.